Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. And today I wanna to talk about a very important topic which is impacting quite a lot of people, which is unfortunately layoffs and specifically layoffs in the cybersecurity industry and how to deal with layoffs in the cybersecurity industry. Now you might've heard this phrase that cybersecurity is a recession proof industry, right? It's a common phrase gets thrown around, but I want to, unfortunately the cybersecurity industry, it has also felt like the pinch of layoffs these last i think couple of years they have been tough and big names like uh, okta they have laid off uh, around 400 people they have been cutting their cyber security stuff it not it's not just okta i don't want to like uh, highlight them proof point i mean big names big names in the cyber security industry they have like been shedding cyber security stuff again like orca security and these are just a few I don't want to like target them specifically. A lot of uh, big cybersecurity companies have been shedding their staff and not just cybersecurity companies, other companies like FinTech, like technology, like service providers and which they have cybersecurity staff dedicated. They have also been cutting down on their staff. And so this, this can unfortunately, you know what happens is a lot of experienced people are joining the industry and they're competing with like fresh graduates, right? So that, that makes it a very like a saturated job market and uh, it can be a very stressful time, unfortunately. So this is what I wanted to talk about, how to deal with layoffs in cyber security and uh, what to do that in case, in the unfortunate case that you do get hit with layoffs in the cyber security industry. That's what I want to talk about. And one common mistake which people make, they always say that uh, uh, cyber security is a recession proof industry. And th that's what I wanted to make you understand that cyber security is a recession proof industry. That's uh, there's no doubt about that because companies cannot afford to not be secure, right? Because otherwise they it will directly impact their bottom line. But just remember cyber security industry is recession proof, but that does not, that does not mean that you are recession proof companies will outsource they will reduce headcount, they will restructure cybersecurity as they see fit to reduce costs. If you're a CISO, why would you keep a costly in-house SOC team if you can just outsource, right? And that's what I wanted to just uh, highlight here that since it can be such a traumatic time. So please do like and subscribe to my channel before we move ahead. Okay, so what happens? Uh, worst case scenario, you do get hit with a layoff. So the first thing I want you to do, layoffs suck, everybody knows that especially in cybersecurity, which is already a very stressful job industry, right? So do take the time to process it, right? You might feel that you're not good enough and it can take a real toll on your mental health and you won't believe, do not uh, uh, take this lightly, the stress and like uh, negative feelings that come about after a result of being laid off, finding out that your job is being reduced, okay? Don't just rush home and start applying to jobs like a crazy person. That's what a lot of people do, they rush home they just start applying like crazy. They don't take the time to process this information. And that can really take a toll on your mental health, your physical health. So please and do not underestimate this. I've seen quite a lot of people severe, like suffer from health problems because they don't take this step. They just rush home and start applying like crazy. And I know, so that's why it's so important. And this is not just for cybersecurity in any tech job which is always a bit stressful. Please, man, whatever it take, takes for you to relax, watch a movie, play a video game, hang out with your friends before opening LinkedIn, because what will happen is when you go on LinkedIn, you will be hit with notifications from other people in your company that have also been laid off and they are complaining and crying and it will increase your stress level considerably. So please, losing your job is already a difficult time. So please take a breathe, breathe, relax before uh, going out and hitting the job market. And this is so important. I cannot stress it enough. The next step is now that you've taken the time to process this information, benchmark yourself against the industry. So it's common to feel that you don't have what it takes after a job loss, right? So to combat these feelings, I want you to sit down and objectively list your achievements, your strengths, right? Write down the projects you implemented, the areas where people gave you good feedback. So this will really help you to take a look at your CV and understand what are the strong points? What are the tips I need to do? Okay. And one thing I always recommend is go on LinkedIn, find out your ideal job posting and find and benchmark yes, yourself against it. What do I mean by that? I want you to find this job application and ask yourself, what skills or certifications does this job require that I do not have? So you're doing like a gap assessment. You're saying you're looking at this job and you're saying, okay, this is what it requires. 
and this is what my current status is and these are the things i am missing and what will happen is this will give you a very clear roadmap of what you need to focus on in the coming months to upskill yourself people go crazy and they just start applying for certifications and wasting money no have a clear roadmap these are the things i need to do these are the certifications i need to get these are the skills i need to get okay so okay number three is so first one was first decompressing relaxing the other one was gapping yourself against the industry and the third one is finding yourself a mentor a cyber security mentor or a coach can be a game changer in this difficult time uh, and i cannot stress this enough because someone who has decades of experience can and has already gone through these ups and downs can help you navigate this very difficult time they can give you tips to improve your cv they can give you personalized advice right what to focus on and they, they can help you like they can save you weeks or months of your precious time because you know you will be making mistakes you will be emotional you might be like ping ponging back and forth between other things so you by finding a cyber security mentor uh, it they can help guide you they can help you refocus on where you need to be focusing on right now so find somebody you respect and admire on linkedin anybody you feel reach out to them okay what's the worst case scenario that will happen they will say no i don't want to help you out okay no worries most people i know most senior people if they have the time they will be happy to help you out okay i have a full time job but people reach out to me for mentoring on linkedin i'm always happy to help them out okay even though i charge for that because i used to do it for free but then people didn't used to show up so it would completely block up my calendar but there are many many people on uh, linkedin who will be happy to help you out in cyber security okay so that is the third part which is finding yourself a mentor now the fourth thing is consider freelancing now of course your cash flow gets hit right in cyber security and a great way to keep the cash flow active and keep yourself busy is to consider freelance freelancing go on websites like fiverr and upwork and search for cyber security opportunities i would honestly recommend uh, upwork because it it has like better longer and better quality project work so you, you can create a simple calendly link calendar link to block time with you block your calendar you can announce it on linkedin and honestly if it takes off you can actually earn more money than your 9 to 5 job and i am not joking here i mean i know how many so many people they have earned thousands and thousands of dollars doing freelancing in cyber security right it takes some time for you to build your portfolio and i have made many videos on that how to create your own brand in cyber security which is separate from your cyber security job but in the meantime while you're finding your job they can be like a, a time window right as as per studies it sometimes shows that it takes 4 to 5 months sometimes for you to find a job and in a tough job market it can be very stressful and what is the main reason for feeling this stress because your cash flow has been gotten impacted right money is not coming in your salary is not coming in so freelancing can actually help you uh, create a cushion for you right it can help you keep the cash flow active and if it takes off like i said you might think hey man i don't need a 9 to 5 job i just create my own company because i'm getting so much money and believe me it is possible so keep do th- uh, keep this option in mind and start looking around for it and lastly take or make a course now if in step 1 you benchmark yourself against the industry right so you know what skills or certifications you may be lacking right so you can use this free time uh, to upskill yourself right learn a new skill or reskill yourself something you might have forgotten maybe you've lost touch with your technical side right so this is the time use those use that benchmarking you did in step 1 find out what skills you need to learn maybe it's cloud security maybe it's python programming maybe it's vulnerability testing create a home lab and learn those skills do a certification but like i said that's why i kept it at the end because i want you to use that information maybe you got some good advice from your mentor maybe you got it from that gap assessment you did so get in touch with your learning side and start learning and the other option is hey uh, if learning is gem why don't you create a course yourself you can actually if you have good skills why don't create a udemy course or maybe write a book or something there are like millions of ways you can do this and you know i have like a free ebook which i usually share i'll put it in the community section and you can use that also so these are just five tips i've shown how to deal with layoffs in cyber security i didn't want to go through the obvious one that keep six months of cash and update your cv those are things everybody knows honestly you didn't want me to know but these were five tips i would uh, suggest if you get hit with cyber security layoffs and like i said it's a stressful time but you will get through this if you still need help i have a course 
on like uh, how to help yourself in your cyber security career how to boost your profile and everything if you still need help do check that out okay that's wraps it up this video thank you very much for listening to me and i'll see you in the next video thank you